I realize making a video about the coronavirus at this time may be futile because everything's going to change within the next week with by tomorrow. As of today, I'm filming this on Sunday, February 23rd. And as of now, Korea has over 500 cases of the coronavirus. So tomorrow it could be 600, 700, who knows? But the reason I really wanted to make this video, even though my voice is kind of hoarse and no, I don't have coronavirus. The primary symptom is having a fever and I just have a hoarse voice. But the thing is that the spread of the virus in Korea is tied largely to the Shincheonji cult, which I covered in previous videos in previous years. I covered them mainly from 2012 to 2014, and I made an update video just a couple months ago, and I guess I really spoke too soon, huh? So the big news is that a super spreader, who is the 31st confirmed case of a patient having the virus, was a, well, is a member of the Shincheonji cult. I guess she lives in Daegu and she attends a Shincheonji church there. And during a church service, she spread it to hundreds of members, apparently. I haven't attended or observed any of their services, but apparently when they pray and do their church things, they're very handsy. I mean, what someone described is that they put their arms around each other. So I guess they're kind of in each other's faces and that's a very good way to spread a virus. Now, I can't really say like, oh, look, I told you so as much as I want to say I told you so because I was warning people through videos about this cult. I mean, I couldn't have predicted that they'd be spreading a virus and that seems like something a lot of churchgoers could do. If anything, I told you so about organized religion. But still, I guess it's a little vindicating that the cult is now responsible for so much potential harm if they spread this virus to more people. What's been interesting is that the cult has been getting international coverage because people who are covering the virus talk about how it is primarily spread in Korea through the Shincheonji cult. The problem is many newspapers don't want to explicitly call them a cult. The New York Times called them a shadowy church. Ooh, that sounds spooky. Vox refers to them as a controversial religious organization. The Guardian calls them the Shincheonji Church, which is one way to put it, but it makes them sound fairly legitimate. Wall Street Journal and the New York Post just refer to them as a mega church, which I don't think that's really true. And the Daily Mail, which I think is regarded as a British tabloid paper that doesn't have a lot of respect, they refer to it as the Shincheonji Church of Jesus cult. Hey, they got it right at least. I've seen other references to them being a sect or a controversial sect or a Christian sect. I have some friends who object to them being labeled as Christian, but technically they are Christian because following Jesus is part of their beliefs. They just follow their own cult leader a bit more. A lot of my Shincheonji videos have gotten a lot of comments in the last week because of this. One person asked me, how come I can't find any other videos about Shincheonji in English? My answer is that there are actually a lot of videos about the cult or at least people's experience interacting with the cult or being deceived by the cult. But especially in the titles of the videos, people don't call them Shincheonji by name. In the videos themselves, a lot of people don't know that the name is Shincheonji. So whether or not English English publications now are correctly referring to them as a cult, at least they are reporting on the fact that the members are spreading the virus amongst themselves. So this is incredibly bad press for Shincheonji, which is good because they deserve it. But now allegedly there's a rumor that because they're getting all this bad press, members are telling other members to go to other non Shincheonji churches and try to spread the virus to other churchgoers. Now Shincheonji cult members infiltrating other churches is a normal thing. They try to recruit people to their cult who are just regular churchgoers. I don't know if this order to infect other churchgoers with the virus is legitimate, if it's just a rumor. I don't put it past Shincheonji because they care much more about their reputation than the lives of people. So if this rumor is legitimate, their reason is that they want other church members to get the virus so that the international news won't just focus on the cult. And the reason the cult wants no bad press is they don't want people to know about Shincheonji because when they recruit people into Shincheonji, it's this long, weird process where they just start, I don't know, studying the Bible to Together, like not in a church or with like a group of other members who pretend not to be members. They don't introduce the name Shincheonji to new members until at least like nine months after the new members have been involved with these secret cult members. Because Shincheonji members are aware that 
the name has a bad reputation. So thankfully now the name has an even worse reputation. And thankfully in response to these rumors and in response to just the virus outbreak in general, regular, regular churches, other churches, mainstream churches have like told their members not to come to services, to watch the services being streamed online from the safety of their homes. And if you want to know more about the coronavirus, there are many other resources you can look up. I'm just talking about it from the point of view of Shincheonji and how that message is being spread and how people are talking about the cult. Just remember, they're a cult. They're a cult. They're a cult. Call them what they are, the Shincheonji cult.